This is Dave. One night on his way home from starters, Dave was attacked by a group of unicorn fishes. <laughs> ah, my liver! Help! Luckily for Dave, the liver has lots of innate like T-cells called mate cells to help kill any invading E. coli. Looking inside Dave's wound, we can see some invading E. coli. These have pattern associated molecular patterns or PAMPs that have attracted antigen presenting cells or APCs. The antigen presenting cell will phagocytose the E. coli and then present a number of bacterially derived molecules on cell surface receptors. One important bacterially derived molecule is produced as part of the riboflavin synthesis pathway and is presented on a specific receptor known as MR1. Mate cells, which stands for mucosal associated invariant T cells, can interact with the MR1 receptor through their T cell receptor. However, the mate cell TCR is different to normal T cell receptors because it is a semi invariant, so it only recognizes a specific ligand, whereas normal T cell receptors have a wide range of variability. After the interaction of the antigen presenting cell and the mate cell, expression of CD69 and CD161 on the surface of the mate cell is upregulated and molecules such as interferon gamma are secreted. More immune cells will consequently be attracted to the site of infection and become activated. Moving back to the initial interaction between antigen presenting cells and E. coli, we can see in Dave's stab wound some E. coli may be alive and others dead. In order for the immune system to respond to invading bacteria correctly, the antigen presenting cell needs to be able to differentiate between the live and the dead bacteria. There's the potential that the antigen presenting cells are detecting specific signals in the live bacteria called viability associated pathogen associated molecular patterns or vitapamps. As dead bacteria are not viable, they would not have any vitapamps. Detection of these vitapamps would change the signals that the antigen presenting cell gives mate cells. Consequently, mate cells would secrete more interferon gamma and have more CD69 when exposed to live bacteria. This would be beneficial for Dave because it would enable the immune system to kill the bacteria faster, allow his wound for to heal, so he'll be all set to go back to starters next week. Thanks, mate!